Hey people, uh, we're going to take a look at the importance of the control key in Sketch. It turns out to be a very uh, important key, and I'd like to uh, introduce you to the functionality here. So here's where I'm at. I'm in a, any old project. Uh, I've just opened a new project and named it Control, just for this exercise, and I'm in the Sketch uh, area. Okay, so this is the Sketch palette. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just place a room. Um, the sketch palette. Okay, and the room has been placed. I'm going to zoom in just a tad. All right, now we've learned in class that if you left click and hold down your left click on the uh, handle, that that will actually change the size of the room. Okay, I'm going to undo that. But today we're going to talk about, or right now with this uh, particular video we're going to talk about holding down control before I left click and drag out so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put one finger on the control key I'm holding down control and then I'm also left clicking holding down and moving this out see that room one room two I'm going to undo that and I'm going to show once again what happens when I simply hold down the left click and move a handle undo that and this is holding down control, then holding down the left click and moving the handle. See how a new room is created? Okay, now that's a handy tool, um, but it's not actually what I want to show you uh, today. What I want to show you is the importance of holding down control for uh, creating roofs. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up here to the toolbar and I'm going to click on the roof uh, tool and I'm going to uh, place a roof down here. Okay. Actually, you know, yeah, let's place it down there. Um, and I'll grab a handle and make the roof a little larger. So here's just regular old roof. Okay. Now, uh, if I want to add a small section to this roof that looks like this, uh, see another little part to this roof. Okay. I'm gonna undo that. If I simply use the square break tool, make a break, and hold down and move this area here, I'm not getting what I'm looking for. This is going to be a funny looking roof. Okay, now, see what I'm talking about? Let me show you what that looks like. It's just, it's not right. It's not what I'm looking for. Now, you, you will run into roofs like that, but. That's not what we're trying to create here. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to use the square break tool. Put the break there. But before I can left click, hold down and move this handle, i got to hold down control. Now if I do a left click, I don't have to hold down control anymore. I can simply pull that handle out. Okay. Adjust the size of this area as I need to. And I've got uh, roof two. This is getting to be ready to place uh, any type of roofing material on it uh, for the purpose of the estimate. estimate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show that to you one more time. So I'm going to highlight just this section right here. And I hit the delete key to get rid of that. So here's the process. Here's how it goes. I click on the break tool. I break the eave. I hold down the control key. Then I do a left click on the handle. Okay, now I no longer need to hold down the control key. I can move this roof out to the desired length and adjust this width as needed. And voila! Okay, so again, that's a review of how to use control and then left click to create um, a second section to a roof. And of course, the same principle holds true. For creating a third and a fourth section. Very important skill. You'll probably want to practice this many times.